Hey, Mean Matt here with Cleo, as always. So, the Royal Rumble is coming up tonight. It's gonna be epic, I'm assuming. It's gonna be the first Rumble where I think it's not. It's gonna be uh, unpredictable. You don't know who's gonna win. And I'm looking forward to it, even though there are some possibilities that the wrong person is going to win the Rumble this year. Who knows? Um, I talked yesterday about NXT TakeOver San Antonio. Um, yeah, I uh, really enjoyed that match. I think it was a lot of interesting... Uh, Actually, I didn't watch it. Uh, to be honest with you, I taped it. I, I did see the last match, and uh, let's just say it was glorious! Anyway, so let's go with the Royal Rumble. And so we have the kickoff show uh, Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. So, the feud happened where. Uh, Sasha Banks was, of course, met by Nia Jax, by way of Charlotte, I think, and was attacked. And, and you know, this is where I don't like Sasha Banks. I don't like a lot of these wrestlers who don't sell. And... Um... Sasha Banks, in my opinion, didn't sell her injury. First, she gets attacked by uh, Nijax. Then all of a sudden, she comes out on Raw to help. Uh, I can't Oh, Bailey. She helps Bailey win a match <laughs> against Nia. To me, that's just rotten. I think the... Like a week before my uh, the week before the Royal Rumble, it would have been cool if Sasha Banks would have um, came in and made a surprise return and challenged Nia Jax for Sunday's Royal Rumble. Uh, where are you going? It just would have been interesting to see that, but, like, it happens. I think there's a lot of, you know, people that don't sell their injuries. Obviously, she did on uh, Monday. So there's that. Nia Jax. And, to be honest with you, I am booking her to win this, this match. And then you have the WWE Raw Championship, uh, Raw Tag Team Championship, if you will. Cesaro and Sheamus versus the club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Now, I mentioned yesterday that this pisses me off that you have what should be on the card is on the fucking pre-show, and that is the championship match. You should always have a championship match at the pay-per-view, not at the pre-show. Well, what good's that? Because it always seems to happen. I don't know why. And, you know, with the brand split, you have no excuse. Half the fucking show with the championships. But in this case, the tag team championship is going to be on a pre-show. And I believe I will be pulling for the club. The club, the ball club, who cares? Um, I used to like how Cesaro and Sheamus were a take team championship duo, or a take team duo in general, but they seem better enemies, and it would be pretty cool, actually, to find the Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson as the take champions. Never get to the pay-per-view. Or no. Another match. 
on the pre-show. Okay. Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, and Naomi will take on Alexa Bliss, Mickey James, and Natalia. Now, Mickey James came back after a few years um, since being away from WWE. Uh, she was in TNA as the hardcore country, uh, whatever. She married Magnus. I'm surprised that she didn't bring him in to the WWE, just like in Ring of Honor. Uh, Maria Canellas and uh, Mike Bennett, you know, didn't come in. Uh, or Cody Rhodes and Brandon, whatever. It would have been cool to see both Magnus and Mickey James, but nonetheless. So Mickey James is there. She is the psychic of Alexa Bliss. Uh, just obviously, she's a lot older. And she's a lot more experienced in the WWE now. And it's pretty cool to see how she's aligned herself with Alexa Bliss. Alexa being a, is one of my favorite uh, women wrestlers of today. Uh, I know she is short for whatever reason. Uh, people are complaining about that, but... Whatever, it is what it is. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm still a fan of Mickey James, but... Uh, then you have Natalia, who's obviously also been in the business forever, in the WWE, uh, famous for the Hart family. So you have these three taking on Naomi, Becky Lynch, and Nikki Bella. And Naomi just returned to WWE. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see these guys. So, I think I will choose Mickey James, Alexa, and... What did I say? Natalia. Uh, there's always something up one of them sleeves. So, I choose them. But who knows? I could be wrong. There could be uh, the other way around. Who knows that? And now we get to the pay-per-view. So we have Rich Swan versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, Rich Swan has been a very, a very good champion so far. Uh, again, he's one of those fun type guys. I always say that the stereotypical. You know, jive, you know, black man has to be the jive guy that is silly and all that kind of stuff and dancing around. Um, that's just my opinion that the WWE or whoever's, you know, just a racist company. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I will say I think Neville should win. Neville seems to be claiming himself the king of the cruiserweights. So, if Neville wins, who knows what could happen? Who knows who he can wrestle? Um, but, like, I mean, I, I do like Rich Swan. I think that they could have a feud. They could have an ongoing feud. They know each other, basically, so. Yes, I know I'm looking off camera, but there you go. I'm just trying to think. Uh, you know, the women's championship, you know, Charlotte versus Bailey. Um, you know, Bailey is, uh, due, I think, for a WWE women's champion. Um, but, so, you know, here's the thing Charlotte proclaims herself as the one who doesn't, win, uh, doesn't lose to pay-per-views. She's never lost a pay-per-view. So, in my opinion, that should be, that should be, uh, still a record. I think that if Charlotte loses uh, tonight, I think that it would shatter everything. I think that would, that would break, um, 
not only I think the streak, but I can't get what make her a liar as um what as uh being the one that always wins on the pay per view and then losing to Bailey. I think that Charlotte should retain and then Bailey will have to win it in a different uh in a different one. In a different uh raw or whatever. So I will say, um Charlotte was a chain. Then we get to the championship match for the WWE Universal Championship. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a a, a promotional match. Um, what the fuck am I? Okay, so, we have Kevin Owens, so we have two WWE Championship main events. My hair is a mess because of my cat. So anyways, uh, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens with Chris Jericho suspended by Cage on the ceiling. That's been promoted for weeks. Uh, a month, if you will. Um, you know, this is going to be interesting now because it's going to be a no disqualification match, which I fucking love no disqualification matches. Uh, this one is iffy. I mean, Roman Reigns is no longer U.S. Championship or... Roman Reigns is no longer U.S. Champion because of Chris Jericho being the U.S. Champion now. So, it could go, you know, it could go... Roman Reigns could win the World uh, Championship. Or, the Kevin Owens retains what happens to Chris Jericho. Well, there's a lot of talk about Chris Jericho turning face. And then eventually going against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. However, Chris Jericho is the United States Champion. So, if it happens where Kevin loses and then we have Roman Reigns as the World Champion, then what if there's a match at WrestleMania, Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the U.S. Championship? Who knows? It's interesting to me. Yes, I think so. It's very cool to see uh, that could turn out. Again, no disqualification is something I really, really enjoy. So it'll be a good match. It'll be interesting to see what happens. And then you get the WWE Championship. The real WWE Championship. So, the last one was a Universal. This one is the real WWE Champion uh, match. We have AJ Styles versus John Cena. So, a lot of people say, well, if John Cena wins, let's say The Undertaker wins the Royal Rumble, hence, go to WrestleMania, it'll be Undertaker versus John Cena. But now they have the Elimination Chamber match. Uh, or pay-per-view, if you will. So what if that changes? That's a big possibility. Um, even for Roman Reigns, what if he wins the World Heavyweight Championship and then he loses it at the Elimination Chamber? I don't know what's going to happen. So it could be that. It could be, you know, let's say AJ Styles retains. You know, there's a possibility of that happening as well. And then you could have him lose at Elimination Chamber. Maybe to John Cena. Who knows? Maybe to someone else. It'll, it'll be an interesting match. You know, I'm not a John Cena fan. I'm not a huge AJ Styles fan, but being the guy who's been around in the independent circuit in 
John Cena talks, oh, he's been in the independent circuit. So what? You know? I've been in the WWE for a very long time, and that's correct. But where did he start? OVW. So fuck you, John Cena. But there you go. Who knows what's going to happen? There's a match that could go either way. Um, but in this case, I don't know who I want to win. Because like I said, it can go either way. With the whole Chris, uh, with the whole, yeah, with the whole Chris Jericho uh, being suspended and having Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens uh, in a match. Who knows? You could have... You could have Kevin Owens go over. Or you could have Roman Reigns go over because who knows who's going to win the Elimination Chamber match. If there's two matches for the Universal Championship and a WWE Championship. But anyways, and then... So then we now we're going to go on to the 2007 Royal Rumble match. 30 years in the making. So... It's unpredictable because you have, you know, Goldberg, you have Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, The Undertaker. You might even have, you know, well, you even have John Cena. So let's say John Cena loses the match with AJ Styles or doesn't say he doesn't win the Royal Rumble. Uh, but then again... Who really wants to see John Cena, a three-time Royal Rumble winner, beating Steve Austin? You have uh, uh, Sami Zayn, Finn Balor might return. You have uh, a lot. The Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, uh, Big Show, Bray Wyatt. And the list goes on from there. It'll be fucking interesting, man. I can't wait. Because every year is a surprise. And I had thought there was going to be a women's Royal Rumble somehow. But there's really not enough women, I guess. So, you could have a surprise. You could have... There's been rumors going around that there's going to be a surprise... Uh, appearance by, you know, Kenny Omega, let's say. Kenny Omega, which apparently I saw on a Facebook video saying that he is not going to be at the Rumble. He's loyal to New Japan. Um, he has been doing of honor, but he's loyal to the independent circuit. So there's, you know, absolutely no interest for him. To be in WWE. So there. You know. You can. Basically. Shut that down. Uh, I can't remember. Who else they said. Would be a surprise. I honestly don't know. And to be honest with you. I don't think that it matters. I think we have. All we need. There probably won't be any surprise. Uh, entrances in the Rumble. And if there is. Uh, all the better. Um, as far as. Me. Um, choosing for the Royal Rumble a lot of people say well The Undertaker needs to win the Rumble to go on to face John Cena at Wrestlemania the only problem is what if John Cena doesn't win the title and wins the title but he could actually win the title at Elimination Chamber so who knows you know a lot of people are like well what about Sami Zayn or what about Uh, well, the possibilities are endless. Uh, it's, yeah, the possibilities are endless. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I can't wait. Uh, and I can't wait to see what the stage looks like. I know I'm always harping on the stage presence, you know. Yeah, it's what it is. You can't have, again, I've said this before. You can't have the WWE stage for your pay-per-view. 
you can't have your stage for the pay per view. Look like a Raw SmackDown. It has to be EU. It has to be unique. Otherwise, what's the point of watching? Anyways, I don't know. It'll be fun. I think I think it'll be fun. I will do a review for both NXT San Antonio and Royal Rumble tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes tonight. Um, but yeah. I will watch the whole NXT show, and it'll be fun. I I really enjoyed the pay. I really enjoyed the uh, main event. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.